Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video where we're going to be talking about Atlas and the non-release day as it was. What a mess that was yesterday. Obviously I'm recording this video on the 20th of December and if you had your head buried under a rock yesterday in the gaming world uh, then you might not know but the Atlas countdown timer came and went and then we got an announcement that it's not going to come out for at least another two days and this was a real doozy guys this left a really sour taste in the mouth of everyone who is excited about this game and willing to give it a go even though obviously grape shot games who have most of their employees are old wildcard employees so for the most part it is wildcard even though they've had their problems in the past with release days and bugs and whatever People are willing to give it a go. The optimism was there. The hype was there. And they let us down. And everyone is disappointed. I think, obviously, even the people behind the game are super disappointed that they couldn't get it out and working when they promised us to. Now, does this spell the end of this game? Absolutely not. Uh, does it raise a red flag for potential issues? Potentially, potentially. I mean, if they couldn't see this coming, are they going to see other game-breaking bugs and issues coming as well? Those of us who have played Ark Survival Evolved will have a, uh, a, you know, a little soft spot in our heart where we've been hurt a few times by Wildcard completely screwing up the game that we're so passionate about and that we play so much and making these crazy uh, updates and stuff before they're being tested. So it definitely does raise a red flag for that. However, obviously, I am still an optimist. And the good news is that the gameplay trailer they released on that day looked awesome um, I don't know what you guys think for the most part it seems like everyone agrees that the gameplay trailer was very good and looked like it had a lot of cool content but it was released at the same time that everyone uh, was super disappointed that they've been let down by a grape shot so the actual like to dislike ratio on that video on their channel is horrendous I think it's like 80% dislikes everyone showing that they were not happy with this delay so as someone who obviously has been playing these style of games for years now and creates content based around them, I obviously have a vested interest in this style of game and I like to see them really do well because it's what I enjoy. I've tried going back to FPS games and I've tried other style of games and I just can't really get into them. The whole survival with like an online presence and the PvP, that's really something that has got my, my attention as a gamer and I've really struggled to enjoy it anything else now so i really want to see this community grow i want to see uh, these kind of games do very well and something in particular that was very difficult to uh, see happening was the fact that there was quite a few twitch streamers who were going to live stream this game as soon as it released that were streamers that wouldn't normally play this kind of game and also had huge audiences in particular the three that i noticed were lyric summit 1g and dr disrespect all having between 20 and 40 thousand viewers and that's just not 20 to 40 thousand viewers if you think if you add all of those up let's average it to 30 let's say that's nearly a hundred thousand people there not all the same people are always in there constantly so over the course of an hour all of those people will change in and out so let's say it's 150,000 people over the course of the hour watching these people get excited for this game look forward to trying it out and they're going to watch these people play it 150,000 people saw that delay and that was a real bad look in all honesty for this style of game and for grape shot as a new company i'm sure when they made grape shot i wanted to say you know we've learned from the mistakes that we made at wild card especially with these kinds of delays and bugs and so on and we're gonna come out and just bring you a polished incredible game of great scope and to see those same kind of problems that they had as wild card creep back in in terms of like oh we said the release day but we're not actually ready and you know we're we're, it, we're disappointed like you guys but you know what can we do about it there's nothing we can do about it you know it's really frustrating and it just doesn't look professional at all and it's a shame that all of those people who could potentially have checked out this game and might have even bought it and tried it out and added to the community just didn't and uh, i think a lot of them will just be like oh it's delayed Psh, not even going to try it out 
Now, obviously, Grape Shot can save this if the game comes out and it is super, super good, as it actually looks quite good, and it works very, very well. They can grow this community and the game will get bigger and it'll be more fun for everyone to play. Uh, but obviously, who knows if the game is really going to shine in that way. But on the short term, it's definitely not good and you don't get a second chance for a first impression. And a lot of people who had not tried out this style of game or maybe not even tried out Ark were probably looking to at least think about getting this game and see what it's got to offer and that was that was not a good look at all so we're going to move on from the doom and gloom I guess of that day and let's look at the positive guys this gameplay this gameplay although I'm slightly disappointed that they haven't shown any actual gameplay if you know what I mean like you've got the user interface and it's all first person and you're actually doing things that you will be doing in game um this gameplay looked good it looks super good it might be a little bit more glamorous with the cinematic look to it than what you're actually going to be doing uh but there was a lot of information in here i've got to give them credit like they showed a lot without having to make the trailer like 10 minutes long they got to the point they showed off all the different landscapes they showed off an incredible amount of scenery and different objects in the game different styles of what you're going to be doing obviously there's still a lot of questions as to how the game's going to actually work but one thing is for sure they've got a lot of things in this game and they wanted to show us that there is going to be a lot of things to do and a lot of variety uh, now personally what do i think of it as the i guess from the perspective of someone who enjoys arc and arc pvp the only thing that i really i guess left a bit a bit of doubt in my mind was that there was a lot of creatures in here now you might be surprised to know that obviously i'm someone who really enjoys Ark, and Ark is a game that revolves around the creatures, but I was hoping that this game might take a little bit of a break from the whole taming and breeding and creature fighting thing. Like, I, I don't mind the creatures fighting and the dinos in Ark, but I would like it if the focus was more about the inventory revolved around the inventory obviously you've got the boats as well that's definitely to be expected in a pirate game but i was hoping it wouldn't rely so much on the creatures in the game i don't really want to have to look after creatures tame creatures feed them breed them but i don't, I don't know maybe they're trying to appease the arc fans maybe they're just trying to appease everyone maybe that was always the plan that they were going to have um creatures and the emphasis on them in this game but i don't know i say that i might really enjoy the way that they've done the creatures in this game obviously it's not just dinosaurs anymore it looks to be more realistic and like real lifestyle things um a little bit of fantasy i guess thrown around here and there but for the most part nothing too out there we've got giraffes and elephants and monkeys and things that you might actually expect to see in the real world now in terms of how the actual game plays there wasn't really anything too surprising like i just said a bit disappointed we didn't see any uh, inventory stuff on anything that was actual real to gameplay and not cin cinematic style but it was good to see all the different style of players now we do know there's going to be classes in this game um it really makes me wonder are you actually going to be able to customize your character or is the look of your character going to be based around the speciality that your character has i hope that that's the case because obviously in arc survival evolved everyone kind of looks the same in pvp don't get me wrong you do get some people who end up doing the big chunky characters and even i've dabbled a little bit in that with arc but really if you're not making a small hard to see character you're putting yourself at a disadvantage now if they change that whole thing and they make it so that each class has a certain look to it that's going to mean there's definitely going to be variety because there's no way they're not going to make it so that every single class um doesn't have a reason to exist basically uh, there's going to be no point in having all these different classes if it's not almost essential for you to have each one of those in your crew or your company so that's an exciting idea the only downside i guess is that it might be difficult to do things on a smaller scale it might be difficult to be a bit of a jack of all trades and do everything on your own without having to worry and rely on other people but you know it's an 
MMO. I'd be very, you know, I'd be very surprised if you're going to be able to do much as a single player. Maybe you'll be able to have some fun, especially in PVE. But from a PVP perspective, uh, you probably are going to need to utilize all of the different roles. And uh, damn, just even thinking about it, it just brings up so many ideas in my mind as to how they could play this out. It is quite exciting still, despite this kind of release day problem that they had. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Do you think this spoiled it to the point where it actually put you off buying the game? Obviously, I know a lot of you actually play console and don't even have PC. So what do you think about this game in general as someone who maybe likes Ark? Are you hoping this comes to console soon? Are you not too worried about it? Let me know your thoughts either way. I'm still an optimist about it. And as long as it comes out on the 21st, what I'm really concerned about is are the servers going to work properly? Like, is it actually going to be smooth, no lag, or actually just be able to get on with it and there's not going to be big massive wipes where they've put bugs in the game like exploits duping and glitching and all that kind of stuff that's my biggest concern because if they can get around that i'm sure it'll be a fun experience but that's it for this video guys obviously look out for some more i plan to live stream this game when it comes out so if you're not following me on twitch make sure you follow me over there and uh, turn your notifications on to make sure you know when i go live but that's it for now guys i'll see you all next time